How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I lost $100 in Madden 23 due to this glitch but I am going to be explaining how to prevent this glitch from happening. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now as you can see I just purchased LTD 89 overall Jalen Hurts and the coins disappeared from my inventory and you will now see that I'm going to downgrade Aaron Rodgers because I planned on replacing my 89 Jalen Hurts with Aaron Rodgers and this is like an unedited clip because I sent this into EA help because as you can see right here I never got the 89 overall Jalen Hurts card in my inventory and I think the reason why this happened is because I did not receive that notification that says you won this card from the auction house my coins basically just disappeared and this is a bug this is some type of glitch in the game and that's what the developers have at least told me. Um, but you can see that the auction went through. Like, it went through. My coins went away. I think somebody got my coins. And I would just like my card. Right? I never got this card. And this card is going to go up in price, most likely. And I would just like to have it in my inventory. I went to the notifications. It shows here that I purchased it. And I sold Aaron Rodgers, which is my coin card. I ended up getting him back because this actually happened two days ago. And I still do not have the 89 overall LTD Jalen Hurts. So if you want to prevent this type of thing from happening, if you are to purchase, especially an LTD card, but really any expensive cards, right? If you're purchasing these legend cards from the auction house that were just released today, and you want to make sure that you get the card, you need to press square to view the item after you have purchased it. If you noticed in this video, if I would have pressed square to view the Jalen Hurts item, I might have been able to get him. I don't know if that would have done anything uh, because you want to add him to your squad right away, right? You want to go into the, the item and hit promote to starter. That way you know for sure that he will be added to your team. And that's really what I was trying to do except I might have done it out of order, but I wasn't expecting the glitch to happen. So with that being said, they told me to just wait and hopefully I'll get the card uh, over the next couple of days or maybe a week, it could be a month. Hopefully before they come out with some type of Redux version of Jalen Hurts because I mean, I'm good with Aaron Rodgers. I'll take Aaron Rodgers. I'm still getting used to this free form passing and I didn't even realize that I needed to be pressing L2. And uh, so some of these passes won't even be free form completions. I went into practice and I was testing it out a little bit. I didn't play the beta. I was playing MLB The Show at the time the beta was released. So I'm just trying to get the feel for the game right now. But I'm having a lot of fun with the game and I've been a Madden fan my entire life. I mean, I've, I've been a customer of Madden games for over 20 years. And I was, you know, explaining some of this stuff to the EA support team. Uh, I even put out a tweet to Clint Oldenburg. I don't even really know who that is, but I know that he kind of represents uh, something to do with Madden. I know he's verified. He might be one of the key developers in this game. I hear people when they're complaining about it, they're yelling his name out. I don't know if he's the community manager or whatever the case is. Uh, but the reason why I wanted to talk about this fix to this potential glitch is because this is going to happen a lot more with the game officially released and hopefully people are not losing their coins they might not even be realizing it if they're simply just buying you know maybe 80 overall cards or guys for sets they might be like i, I thought i purchased enough but now i don't have enough for the set I, i'm just thinking about potential things that could happen and this type of thing would really suck if somebody were to put you know a hundred dollars into a platinum elite bundle kind of like i did well, I put multiple hundred dollars into multiple bundles, um, but pretty much lost an entire bundle or what I got from one of those Platinum Elite bundles. I, I know I didn't have, you know, the greatest pulls out of one of them, so it might have been even two of the Platinum bundles to make that Jalen Hurts card, or at least, you know, to give me enough coins in order to purchase that card. I was trying to explain that to the EA support team, but some of those guys just, like, really didn't understand me. They were thinking I bought packs or something I, I really don't know I took a couple of screenshots from the EA support team but I wasn't gonna put the dudes on blast just because I, I would like them to help me and also I'm trying to help everybody else out so that this doesn't happen to you guys um, but with that said you know I, I still am a fan of the game I actually bought another platinum elite bundle I'm gonna probably include that in the next video 
Um, but the reason why I didn't just buy another Jalen Hurts card with my, you know, two and a half million coins is because I wanted to try and get a couple of these legends that just released today. Now, all these games I'm playing right here, the, the highlights that you're watching are all uh, games I played before a lot of these brand new cards were released. Um, I do have Demarcus Lawrence in here. I am using him. Uh, I successfully bought that card, so that LTD didn't get glitched out and disappear into the abyss. But anyway, I have made it to the pro division. I know that's kind of where you know everybody's at now that they've probably played a full season if they pre-ordered the game, right? If you just got the game last night after release, then you probably haven't played you know multiple games of Mutt. Uh, but after... After I make this video, I'm going to try and get that 86 overall cornerback Randy Moss card. I'm also going to try and pick up a few of those legends like I mentioned. Um, but really, I'm trying to get into that Mutt Champions game. Uh, maybe potentially play some seasons and, and look to win a Super Bowl. But I, I've been mixing in some of the house rules games as well. Testing out some of the different uh, abilities in the game and certain abilities that my team can get. I didn't really think Escape Artist was that great. I know I'm using only, you know, 72 speed Aaron Rodgers, so it's probably better on someone like Jalen Hurts. Uh, but even even then, I still don't think, you know, a fast quarterback is necessary unless you're really running with them a lot. I like the pocket passer. I'm going with Aaron Rodgers for at least right now. And uh, when I get that Jalen Hurts card, I'll probably try him out, but I just don't know when that will be. And uh, I might be playing in a Madden ladder game a little bit later this afternoon. Uh, but so far, Cam Chancellor's been my best player on defense along with Daxton Hill. Earlier at the beginning of the video, I showed that I bought that Daxton Hill card for like 159000 It was also in my completed bids with that Jalen Hurts card. But I actually got that card for about sixty k, And how I did that was by purchasing a Jordan Davis for like 60000 Then that card went up to like hundred and eighty k. I sold him for that and then I used that profit to buy the Daxton Hill. So in a way, you know, making profit, pretty much traded in Jordan Davis for Daxton Hill uh, through the auction house for about 70K um, after all the taxes and everything. Now I probably should have bought more of those rookie premier cards and invested in them, but I also didn't know how the market would respond. Uh, I didn't know what exactly would happen, so I wasn't really willing to make that risk. Uh, but as of right now, you know, some of those cards are going for over 120 k Some of them have also dropped in price due to the cards that were released today. Um, but as the year goes on, right, some of those cards will still be valuable at certain positions. But anyway, I thought this game was pretty funny because before it even started, this guy was like talking trash about my team. Even though this guy has a pretty good team as well. He has 89 Joe Burrow. He has 89 Mixon. He's got the pre-order Cam Chancellor. He was just talking a little bit of trash saying I spent a lot of money on my team and I still have like 2.5 million coins just chilling. I, I didn't even spend all my coins on my team, um, but it's also just for fun, man. Like who cares how much money somebody spends on an ultimate team game? I mean, you could go to an arcade, you could go you know, to a club, you could go out and spend you know, a couple hundred dollars on whatever it is you're doing, or you could spend you know, a couple hundred dollars on Madden and uh, potentially stay at your house in a safe environment and uh, play some games online against other people who are also probably doing the same thing and uh, have some fun with that and get the most value out of your money. That's at least the way I think of it. But this is also a business for me, right? Because I'm trying to expand my YouTube channel, trying to grow a little bit. Uh, obviously, uh, it's more of a business in MLB The Show. But at the same time, it's a it's a hobby of mine. I'm gonna play these video games anyway to kind of relax. But at the same time, you know, I get it. Some people also get upset because I'm supporting the developers of this game and stuff like that. They don't necessarily want people to do that, which I, I understand both sides of everything. But I hope I was able to help you guys out in some way by preventing this from happening to you. And hopefully I get that 89 LTD Jalen Hurts card soon. Until next time, peace out.